world, it is me, Madison here at MAB Creations. Um, it, it's been a little while, but things became out of my control. And um, I'm going to try and sum this up as best and quickly as possible so we can get to the point of the video. The last week of July and very early August was dreadful. Painfully dreadful, to say the least, because our air conditioner decided not to work and it was reaching 97 degrees up to even 100 at some a couple of times in my house. It was bad. Um, thankfully, we got it fixed fairly quickly because um, I praise be to my uncle that uh, works on air conditioners and he was able to get it uh, up and running really quickly and was able to help us. I wasn't able to be in my room. I was kind of being forced to sleep on the couches in my living room and at one point I slept on the floor and also at one point we went on a family road trip to various parts of Tennessee where I didn't know where we were and it was quite sketchy um, and that all of that just so happened to be on my birthday so I had to spend my 23rd birthday in a hotel with my parents and my sibling but I'm, I'm here, I'm back in my room and I'm so thankful to actually be able to film again and be in air conditioning. I'm just happy. And I'm also happy to bring with you guys the Lipstick It or Chunk It uh, update for July. Um, where I was wearing all of my bullet lipsticks. I didn't have as many. I think I only have 22. Um, I think I did actually get around to wearing everything. Honest, um... I think I remember why I didn't wear some bullet lipsticks a lot um, because I have a wide variety of formula. I have, you know, uh, like the ColourPop lippy sticks, I have the traditional little bullets, I have these uh, All May Color and Care things which are like um, solid lip oils that I was considering lipsticks. The color pop just a tint. I, I have a wide variety of formula, and it's, I think I realized I don't like some uh, lipstick formulas, and this was really eye opening actually. So let me quickly pull everybody out of the box because I did just put everybody back in the box. Um, when it was getting so hot in my house, I was legitimately worried that uh, some of my lipsticks, because they are, some of these are on the softer side, that they were gonna melt. All right, so this is everybody right here. Um, I realized I kinda had a lot of the same colors. And so let's actually start at the very, very beginning as last time we're gonna have little pictures of me wearing everything. Um, I didn't give everything a wear test. Um, because of the air and also uh, a couple of these, I had the same issue of when I was wearing my liquid lipsticks that some of these jacked up my lips and that was not fun in the summer. But the first two I wore were from Kiss and Smink. They're a Swedish brand. I want to say it's actually English for Kiss and Makeup. Um, like the whole, you know, Kiss and Makeup, you too, and also, you know, makeup. <laughs> I, I love that idea of the brand. I, just, I think it's cute. I love the color the packaging. These are from Ipsy. Uh, the first one I wore was, I'm gonna botch these and I apologize to any potential Swedish viewers. Um, Tavra? T-A-V-A-R-U-A. Um, Tavra? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Tavra. Um, it is really pretty color on me. This isn't usually the colors I would gravitate towards. I usually don't gravitate towards light browns. Um, I'm very much a chocolate to a dark chocolate girl. When I wear uh, browns, I really, really love to a really dark brown, but this is actually really pretty. It actually worn down really pretty, and um, this goes for both of these. Both of these wear extremely well. They're not drying at all. They're really easy to apply because they are on the thinner side. Tavara is really unique to my collection because I don't really have any other light browns and turns out I actually like light browns. But I realized like as much as I like the color of me, I don't think I need to get another one because I just really, really like this one right now. The other one is uh, MR. M-A-R-I-E-T-A-S, um, Maritas, um, 
I I'm not fully sure. Um, this one feels ever so slightly different compared to Tavara. It it's almost like a blotted lip kind of feel. I imagine that these have the same kind of lip feel as the um, the ColourPop blotted lips that got discontinued because these are just so comfortable and this one is actually more of a uh strawberry staining it doesn't look that much different in the tube it's just ever so slightly warm but it is like a it is legitimately like a strawberry staining on me it is absolutely beautiful it just lasts just long enough and it just wears beautifully i am very comfortable wearing these on campus even though um I'm not fully sure how campus is going to go at this point with the Delta variant and Lambda and Delta Plus that was found in, um, I want to say one of the Koreas. Um, is, <laughs> without getting too far into it, I don't fully know how lipstick on campus is going to be working, but these would be ones I would definitely wear if I ever, ever got comfortable ever again not wearing a mask on campus because my college is gross all right next up we had the first um uh, painfulness of my mullet lipstick journey i was pretty sure i wasn't gonna keep this one but i at least wanted to give it a fair shot because i remember wearing it in cosplays a lot it is my color pop lippy stick uh, in the shade goldie it is the matte x formula specifically i was actually really disappointed with this it's a really pretty color i'm a very big fan of like dark bricky reds which is what this pretty much is however it is extremely extremely hard to apply um it stained extremely bad um at first i was giving everything a kiss test and I ended up having to quit doing this because it got um, a little difficult. And it actually stained my hand for a couple of days. Even with, um, I was using Borderline um, Ecolab cleaner on my hands at one point just to try and get it off. And even it didn't come off at first. For a matte X formula, it was actually feathering by around 2 o'clock. Which I am not a fan of, especially matte things like this feathering it was just not cute um and despite it being matte it just did not hold up to food at all like i had some um fairly glossy bullet lipsticks held up better to food and drinking out of a can than this did so this is just i i wish i could like color pop stuff but I just, I cannot get on board with this one. So this is actually the first one going. Um, next up was actually one I hadn't worn before. Actually, I might have swatched it. I don't think I've ever actually worn it. It's an Ulta Beauty lipstick, just like their collection in the shade Barely There. It's that kind of light brownie, slightly peachy nude that I tend to not gravitate towards. Um... And what I actually put on, it is a gorgeous color in my notes. It's in, right over here. It's a really, really pretty color. However, um, this isn't really a matte formula. It's not quite glossy, but it's not like super matte either. There is some shine to it. There's some gloss to it. Um, this actually dried out my lips really really badly to the point where it was actually moderately uncomfortable i had flaking bits which is weird because i didn't have any flaking or issues when i took the matte x off it was actually really really weird so as much as i like this color i think i am going to um declutter it in favor of keeping uh tarvara because it, they're identical. Tarvara might be slightly darker, but there's no real reason for me to have both, especially when one is much more comfortable. Um, unfortunately, I actually did take two days off from wearing lipsticks in the month of July. I was trying to get through these quickly to hopefully move on to my lip glosses, but um, we also had an issue with one of our kittens. I haven't I don't think I've shown the kittens in the channel before but we had four kittens and it went down to three 
I'm trying to get to this as quickly as possible. Um, Grogu had a, an, um, our best guess is a Black Widow spider bite, and um, he unfortunately passed away in early July. Um, it wasn't like, fun to deal with, and I just I took a couple of days off from wearing lipsticks just to uh, feel my feelings and help my sister, my sibling out. But after that was actually a big surprise. This is one I have not really worn that much before. It is the Clinique. What is this actually called? Wait, lip color plus primer. This is a lip primer. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to actually Google what this is because I, like, I didn't Google much. I actually got this in like a Clinique bag um, from Macy's or something a little while ago. But it straight up says right here, Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primer, Rouge Intense Plus Base. This is the shade 13 Love Pop. This does not seem like my usual color. It's the one I'm actually wearing right now because I really like this color when I'm filming. It makes my teeth look a little yellow, but like, err. It is a really pretty color and one I wouldn't gravitate towards a lot. It's definitely a summer color for me. But as you can see, it's actually quite shiny. However, this wears down beautifully into almost a bit of a stain. I'm not sure if that's where that primer comes into play or what, but it stains me just enough that it is beautiful. It actually lasts really, really well. It wears down beautifully and it even manages to not come off on cans. Like, I, I am really, I have stuck my fingers in my mouth. But it, it is gorgeous. It is actually, if not one of my favorite berry lip colors right now. But as you can see, all that's on it, you probably won't be able to see it. The can is very full, but there's only a little bit right there. Next up, this one isn't technically like a lip color, but um, I was kind of throwing in my tints and my oils and that kind of thing in here. And I just wanted to get this one out of the way. It is a Wet n Wild Pout and Rule Gel Lip Balm in the shade, oh, in the shade Rule. Um, it was barely any color. It's like a purple. Um, let's see if I can even get any color. It's like a purpley fuchsia color. I wasn't so keen on this one. Um, the color actually on me isn't too bad. It's, it's a little just out there. I don't go for the fuchsia bright purples a lot. I'm more of a deep, um, royal purple kind of person. But honestly, even the fact that I was um, reapplying and taking care of it throughout the day, it just not really superb at benefits or anything. I would rather just put on a different lip balm. I don't know if it's this gel formula, if it's wet and wild or, or what, but it's just, it's eh. So not really worth keeping around all that much. Next up were my two ColourPop Just A Tints. These little guys are not going anywhere. They're a little bit more on the glossy, slippery side, but that doesn't really bother me much at all. Um, I got these when I was super, super into lip tints. Oh my god, if you, this is so specific. They just smell like mango haichu. Like, oh, and I, I love haichu candy. So the fact these just smell like, they're, they are perfect. I really love both these colors. I have the colors Treasure Island and The Strand. I don't wear Treasure Island out much. Treasure Island's a little bit more into that berry color for me, but they're both still really pretty. They stain me just a little, little bit. Treasure Island specifically more than the Strand. The Strand is very, very close to my natural lip color. It's just a little bit more alive, I guess. A little more peachy, just a little more vibrant. But I really, really like these. They are gorgeous colors. And um, if it wasn't for the fact that I was a broke college student, I would always be buying these. I love these. On to, I think, like, really only one of my two reds. I realized I didn't have many reds in bullet lipsticks. But um, I think this is the only red I'm going to be keeping. This is from Belle in Argent. I want to say the shade is I Like Your Car. But it is... She is bright. She is very, very bright. She has gotten some love. The applicator is a little bit tricky because of the shape, but um, 
yeah, this is definitely one of my all-time favorites in my collection. It is gorgeous. It is perfect for cosplaying, um, especially when I'm wearing Mara. It is just absolutely beautiful. Wore it on great. It stained me a little bit pink, but a lot of friends do that. But I'm willing to put that aside just for how gorgeous of a color it is. <laughs> All right, uh, my two Maybellines. I have the shades uh, 705 Concrete Jungle, and this is 765 Gray over it. I am pretty obsessed with these odd colors. This is Concrete Jungle. It's a, a very gray corpsey uh, slightly brown it's more of a steel gray and gray over it is the kind of browns i tend to gravitate towards this just slightly darker it's slightly gray it is a gorgeous color let me switch hands real quick just so you guys can see these these are very grungy lipsticks on me we have gray over it on top and concrete jungle I was obsessed with Concrete Jungle for the longest time. It was very, very much my, like, grunge girl lipstick when I was just feeling nothing except for burn the patriarchy and screw business school um, feelings. This is actually the lipstick I wore when I quit business school, and I was very, very happy to be wearing this kind of lipstick again and just, you know... Just screw you guys but yes these are the browns i really enjoy i'm keeping both of them because they're very very comfortable they're really pretty on me uh, especially the fact that i have a cool skin tone and it's really hard to find these kind of colors um lately in the beauty world especially in formulas i both like and can wear so i'm not gonna let go of the ones that i know work for me <laughs> let's actually go with two that um, did not work for me at all. These are from two different brands, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these out of the way. This is from Clean Color. It is the shade Dragon Fruit. This is just, it's bright. It looks dusty. It looks like deepened hot pink. No, let's just, um, let's just put some Dragon Fruit on this hand. Yeah, that ain't my color. I got this in a Shop Miss A mystery bag. I never really wore it, um, but it's just not for me. This is the summer color that I cannot wear. Just that it's just not me, so yeah. If I wanted to go that bright, I have colors I like more. And this one I was actually surprised did not work for me. This is a Eddie Funkhauser Twisted Kisses Matte Lip Pencil, but that's that's a lipstick. This is actually a pretty decent color. It's slightly darker and slightly pinker, but um, compared to Tarvara and um, the Barely There, they're just all in that same family. However, this formula is just dreadful. It is not comfortable, it flakes, it almost hurt and cracked in some places, and just I expect a lot more comfort out of my lipsticks, so no. Pretty color though, but as I said prior, I would rather have um, ones that I enjoy wearing in the color family. Oh, also in the brownie nudes, um, this is a ABH lipstick in the shade dead roses this was i think my last ipsy bag it is absolutely gorgeous of a color i actually want to keep this one um to see if i can pan it because i really like a beach uh, mini lipstick sizes i think it's absolutely gorgeous it's that kind of deepened berry nude that is gorgeous on me um you guys can see it over here i really really like this color it um oddly makes me look like <laughs> it kind of just blends in my hair a little bit but it's actually fairly comfortable at least more comfortable to me than the liquid lipstick formula but it's a really pretty color if abh ever had like a giant sale 
on their lipsticks, I think I would potentially get a full size of this color because I do really like it. This is still here. This is my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bullet Ammunition, Lip Ammunition in the shade glazed now this one i actually is i didn't get a chance to wear test this one specifically because i kind of know what i'm going to do with this anyway um to catch some people up to speed a few years ago i actually got a jeffree star mystery box i got the mini one um and i was in that box batch of mystery boxes where the advertising claimed exclusive cosmetic item and then it quickly switched to exclusive item and it turned out to be stickers and they ended up refunding every mini box. I was one of those that got refunded and I did make a video but I think it's privated now and this was in it. Um, the other lipstick I got was um, blank whipped. I'm, I'm not gonna say it um, because my grandmother and um, my two-year-old cousin's daughter watches my videos. I'm not going to be saying it. But um, all I'm going to say is Google Jeffree Star Cosmetics Whipped. Um, it's a metallic copper. <laughs> um, but this color is actually a bit unique, at least to my collection. I don't know if it's actually unique in the beauty world. I haven't found a dupe for it yet. But it is just a beigey, pinky, metallic, shiny gloss it's it's at least very pretty I, I will say that it is very pretty it is fairly comfortable i use it as a lip topper more than anything um the closest thing i have to dupe is actually one of my lip glosses it's from bell and argent um I, can you tell i like that brand um but i am actually going to be similar to the abh product keeping this around to panning it just to at least not be wasteful with my products that I did get from Jeffree Star because the other one got kind of dry and I ended up giving it to my sibling and I think it ended up having to go in the trash because it just was not working right and it just expired extremely quickly and was not functional. But this one is still good. It still smells like vanilla and everything. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with the component afterwards. I don't think I'm going to be keeping it or anything. Um, maybe I can paint it using my Bucky Barnes cosplay, I don't know. Um, let's actually go with my All May Color and Care Lip Oil in Sticks. I actually have these because my grandmother, um, for the older grandkids, there's nine of us, there's nine grandkids, and the older ones, um, we always get, like, uh, these boxes from Kroger that have a lot of razors and, like, shaving cream or something in them. And they're very useful. They are extremely, extremely useful. And they're just really nice, main, main easy to use colors. I actually wear these in winter a lot. When she gave them to this, I have the shades Sugar Plum, which is right here. And this one right here, the more nitty one, is Cakewalk. Um, just for the sake of benefits. And sometimes I can't find lip balms. But if I want just a touch of color and I want some benefits to my lips, these are great. But these are actually really nice to have around. So these are staying at least for now. Oh, <laughs> I just realized I have even more All May. I didn't realize I had these still. These are actually All May Lip Vibes. I think I got these at clearance at Walmart. I have the shades Call Out and Believe. Um, I actually haven't compared this to my other brown. So these I actually wore like fairly early on, so I didn't fully remember what they looked like. But right there is Call Out and right there is Believe. It's a little bit hard to see, but Believe actually has like some metallicness to it. Um, let's see if I can show you in the tube to get a better view of it. It is, it is, it, it's, a, it's a lot shinier than I'm used to. And so while they are both really pretty colors, um, one of these is actually going to be going and it is believe. I just never realized, I don't think I would wear these kind of colors. I have darker purples, but I like to go just slightly deeper than this in the winter and fall. So I would like to go just slightly, slightly deeper. I have other colors I like a bit more, especially I don't usually go this pinky with my purples. So believe is going and call out i'm actually going to keep just for a 
a little bit for more of a dupe reference to see out of all of my browns is this one that I'm gonna wear. Actually, how does that compare to, oh wow, that's like only just slightly darker. One of those I may sit there and see if it's one, again, compared to Tarvara and my others, do I actually want to keep it? I'm just going to keep around a little bit for further testing. Last up are my three Shop Miss A, what are these actually called again? Um, I forget what they're called, but I have these shades, Palm, Shore, and Reef. Shore, I actually want to compare to these. All right, so there are the three colors right there. Shore is very, very nude. Palm is very, very red. And Reef is actually my like only orangey color. Um, palm, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping just in comparison to my Bell and Argent. It's just, they're too close in color to me at least. Usually I can justify having like a bright red and a brighter red, but I can't justify keeping both of these, especially when I know I like the Bell and Argan a lot more. I think actually so is sure. This is my, this has been a go-to color for me for a very long time, um, because I've had this just for a while. It's when I realized I liked these kind of nude colors that were slightly brown, slightly pinky, just like neutral light nudes. Um, but yeah, looking at it compared to Tarvara, it's identical to Barely There. I just don't think I need that many light nudes in my collection. So weirdly out of those, the only survivor is actually Reef. And I usually don't wear colors like this a lot, but I realized with my liquid lipsticks that I actually slightly enjoy oranges. I like oranges, actually. I, th I think I do. So that kind of bright, summery, not quite pumpkin-y coral color, I actually really like. And that actually is all of my bullet lipsticks. I am decluttering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, decluttering eight out of 22, that's not bad to me. And that is not even including um, ones that potentially could go away in future with the whole, um, in the end of swatching and going by my feelings of colors that are way too similar. I tried my best to do that with my nudes and it actually worked. I, I did what I accomplished. Now this go around may potentially be a little harder for me. So as I said in the beginning of July, that I was gonna be switching to this bag right here. Let's just dump the bag in the top book so you guys can see what we are working with here. Ulta mini lip products that I have just been, not quite hoarding, but um, have collected because I am a big fan of Ulta advent calendars. <laughs> this is a wide range of, um, there's some plumping top coats in here, velvet mats, shimmer glosses, shiny glosses, um, high shine lipsticks. There, there's a few formulas in here. 31, there is a total of 31 products in this. Am I getting any of that on my shirt? Nope, okay, I'm getting lipstick everywhere. I'm gonna wipe my hands off. Uh, I haven't had a chance to start in August yet, but as I said, I wasn't being able to be exactly in my room, so I haven't had a chance to grab these yet, but some of these I don't think are gonna make the cut like right away because um these are some of these are like Barbie pink. Um this one is very very blue. Um some of these potentially may be expired. But then there's some that are actually really pretty, and some of these actually might be identical. I'm not fully sure, but they are some of these are really pretty. And not many of these are actually lipsticks. Not many of these are. Yeah, right here are all the ones that actually say liquid lipstick. There's a fair amount of very similar colors. It's a lot of nudes, pinks, and reds. So it, it's probably gonna be easy to cull a lot of these down just by swatching. Um, and also potentially some of these could be expired because I had culled a lot of these fairly recently when I um, did a video 
reviewing these that I never, or I never actually put the video up because I was that exhausted of them. It was that draining and I was calling all to all false advertising and just disgusting business practices and just expired product. It was just not a fun video to make and therefore wasn't worth it. I'm going to try my best to get through some of these. Um, probably first thing I'm going to do is swatch all of the liquid lipsticks or at least give everything the sniff test of what I'm actually going to wear. Because I don't remember how these lip uh, plumping top coat, transforming top coats perform. I don't fully remember how they perform, so that's going to be interesting. But that is my mission for August. If, unfortunately, if something changes in my school's program currently, uh, currently I start on the next Monday on the 9th, and procedure as of right now is to still be wearing masks. Um, well, I will still be wearing masks. I don't think many people wear, will be in. It's the policy of unvaccinated are strongly encouraged. But yeah, um, they haven't said anything about what's gonna happen with Delta or anything. Uh, I fortunately am fully vaccinated uh, with Moderna, but um, I'm, I'm not sure what's gonna happen if the college does go back online then it'll be fairly easy. I can just start putting, you know, lip plumping lip gloss on before I jump on a Microsoft Teams. <laughs> Hopefully it all goes well. Hopefully everyone stays safe. And that is it from me here today at the Hub of MAB Creations, where we will hopefully start having clay products. I haven't been able to make any clay earrings um, this past couple weeks, and I like just launched new stuff. I was like so ready for my birthday launch, and we had the anniversary on July 26th. The shop is officially one year old already. I cannot believe it. But I have new products launched. We actually have mystery bags and cute new earrings, and I'm just so so excited. Um, you are no obligation to buy anything from my shop, but if you do wish. Our link is down below. You can at least check us out, at least get our stats up because it does help the shop in the search results. Even if you don't buy anything, at least if we get views, it's at least showing. Also, I'm definitely going to be making videos on how Etsy is like screwing us over. But if you are interested in non-financial support, you can do so just by following us all on social media. And engaging this video so more people can see it it means so so much for me um we're gonna have more clay videos soon hopefully i have so many cute ideas for halloween i know it's back to school already but i have spooky on the brain it's remarkable i'm not wearing nightmare before christmas today i'm wearing pooh bear but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, week, month, year, and rest of your life. And I hope you guys never stop being creative because we are here for the quirky people making quirky creations. Bye!